Hello, good afternoon. As always, I'm Luke FM. Um, thank you as always for supporting, watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting. It's all appreciated. It goes a long way for keeping me interested in doing this. So, and if I'm entertaining you in the process, then that's great. I, I'm glad I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm enjoying the save, so I'm glad you're enjoying it too. So where you left us off last, we, we lost to Grenoble and then we won in the French Cup and then we lost to Poix 1-0 uh, and then we beat Rodez AF 5-2 to finish the episode last episode, so that was enjoyable. Um, you got probably five games today, starting with the French Cup. We're playing a team called um, Porte Lisane Heracourt. So, yeah, so hopefully we'll, we'll, well, we'll, we will be playing some youngsters in this game. So you'll see some debuts again. Um, hopefully some good displays by the youth players. And then we'll try and see how we do in the, in the league. We'll try and push for a playoff place if possible, but we can't see, we're struggling to hit consistency, so I'm not going to expect miracles with that one. But yeah, anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the first part of the episode. Right, so here we are. We've got some debuts in this one, haven't we? So we've got uh, a debut for uh, Ruelt. Ruelt, I think. I don't think he's played for us yet. No, he played a couple of games for reserves. So he's a very talented young prospect goalkeeper, only 16 years old. He'll be making his debut. Um, we've got, I think, Mustafif. Mustafik. I can't pronounce his name now. Albin Mustafif, he's played before. I know he's played before, actually. Um, played a couple of games last year in the Cup. So, But he's he's in the team. Patricio's in the team. And then we've got this talented young player. Up to £4.9 uh, million pound transfer fee we could probably get for him. But obviously, whether that works out is a different story. But only 16 years old. So the fact that he's rated at 4.9 transfer value, that will only go up. He is a... Wing back, a left wing back, but he can also play in centre defence, which is where he's playing today. Um, and then we've got um, Kujat. Is that how you pronounce his name? Kuj, Kujat? Kujat. Uh, he was the one that, that had the previous record for the youngest player before, uh, I can't remember who. It was only a couple. It, was only a couple, it wasn't Fabry, because he, well, who was it now? Anyway, so he was the previous record breaker for the uh youngest appearance youngest player to appear in the team can't get words out today i'm sorry we've got a player called tio uh Fibord, who i don't think he played last year no he didn't um very talented player potential value of 1.7 million at the moment but obviously that could go up he's driven as well so he's determined to succeed in this game he is a defensive midfielder, defensive midfielder, central midfielder. So he'll be him and Tete will be very good backups for Drame and um, Viltard. And then we have got Demba. Um, I don't think he's played yet for us. No. So Jason Demba, um, eighteen years old, quite talented young player, playing on the right wing. And Fabre's playing, and then we've got another debut. I don't, I don't think he's played for us before, but he's doing quite well for the reserves. Um, so we're playing him today. Uh, Ange Kavin Nabo. I don't, I think the G is silent. I don't think it's good Nabo. Um, but then again, I've been burnt on that before because somebody made me think that you had to say tsunami as to to tsunami. I did a whole video on it. If you don't believe me. Um, check my YouTube ch channel. Type in tsunami, and you'll see the whole the whole rigmarole of me getting uh, joked around by my my friend the whole time. I thought they were being deadly serious about the fact that you have to pronounce tsunami with a T, and then and then after a while, they made me realise that no, we, they were just having a joke at my expense. So uh, bloody hell, that was quick. We've already got a highlight. Two minutes into the game, Denver with the corner. Nabo might not be playing for very long in this game because of the fact he's he's knackered already by the looks of it. We'll let him play at least the first half. But yeah, tsunami, not too tsunami. 
to a tsunami. There you go. I literally was there for about an hour going, to a tsunami, to a tsunami. <laughs> I think everybody was laughing their head off. It was definitely a Twitch stream highlight. Good goal there by Nabo. Um, yeah, I will be doing Twitch again at some point. Probably won't be in the immediate future um, because it takes up time on my day that I, I need to spend on doing stuff for my YouTube. So eventually I will get round to... Oh, good goal. I will get back to doing Twitch, but um, I don't think it'll be TW 2020 because... Like it's it's very difficult to stream it and record videos for it. So um, I'll be probably doing Football Manager content on Twitch. I just need to figure out what type of save I'm going to be doing. But it won't be for a few months yet. I'm just not. I'm just not. I just I have I don't have much time as it is because I've got a puppy to look after. Um, I've got my commitments when it comes to my weight loss stuff. So I have to do like walking and going to the gym and then also um, I have a girlfriend so we like to spend time together when we can um, I've got my friends I have to try uh, try and see my family and then obviously I've got my YouTube stuff which believe it or not does take a lot of time to do so because it's not just the football manager stuff I'm doing I'm doing TW 2020 stuff good goal by Mustafi if they're a great header um, I'm doing wrestling quiz stuff as well so um, it all takes time to sort out and I just think also Twitch is just like I, I like chatting to people on there and stuff like that. But I need to I'm trying to get really good at YouTube because I want to get monetized because I want to make money. I want to do I want to make money doing content creation. I don't mind what it is. I prefer doing stuff that I like. So at the moment I'm doing stuff that I like. But I am looking into doing automated um, stuff using AI editors for like other stuff that's that's popular and making content for that to get my subscribers up my uh, bot channels up on that but yeah so like i said it's a mission and once i'm determined to do something i'll do it um it was the same with my ebay business for uh, nobody nobody thought i was going to be able to do it i managed to do it i managed to make a success successful business from it for about two years before it all went pear-shaped but it wasn't necessarily my fault it went pear-shaped it was a combination of the economy the combination of ebay being greedy and not being good to their sellers good goal there by bayoto i think he just i think he come on for who's he come on for bayoto uh has he come on for oh i don't know oh uh, nabo so nabo had to come on um yeah and then like a combination of like i said ebay being greedy and the economy just being down the toilet and just not me not having the money to keep constantly buying new stock all the time uh, and getting good stock at a good price. That's the problem that you've got. The, the, the joy out of doing it was gone because the charity shops put their prices up because obviously, that you know, rightly so, they're going to try and make the most money they can for the charity. Even though a lot of these charity shops, um, the, most of the money goes to paying the managers. It, a lot, you, you'd be surprised how little percentage of the money they make goes through the cause that they're trying to do it for. It's a glorified high street shop, basically, a charity shop now. It's just a big con. So um, my girlfriend, she works for a uh, medical center that deals helps people with drug recovery, and um, I've donated a lot of my clothes to their recovery center. So they give it to the clothes direct to their service. They call them service users, but we call them uh, people who are unfortunately addicted to drugs. Um, and they get the clothes because obviously a lot of them are probably homeless as well. Uh, and I know it's warming up at the moment, but you know we've had a very very cold winter. Um, we didn't have the nicest of spring so far, so it all helps. And at least then I feel like well, at least the clothes have gone to a good cause instead of going to making the charity shop managers more money. Um, yeah. So yeah. So that's that really. But like I said, once I've got my mind set on something, I'll do it. Anyway, I've had a little rant there. Um, paid no attention to this game whatsoever, so I apologise. <laughs> Sometimes I will just go off on a tangent. So, uh, yeah. It's the problem you have when you're doing YouTube videos and you're talking to yourself.
So, but yeah, good good performance here. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can take any players off. Not really got anybody to put on. So I'll just leave it. I think just let it let it play out now. But yeah, great performance by our young players. Fabre again, he's gonna be a talented player for us. I think. Every time he's played, he's just like the last two games he's played, he played really well. Granted, we are playing against not very good opposition, but um, he's doing well. Right, send him on holiday for a week. Uh, rest him from training. Oh. Yep. Fabre, you have done very well. I think I might need to offer you a new contract. He's only 16 years old as well. Gives me high hopes for the future with him. Right. In a sec, you'll see me playing Angus. So we're back. And um, we, after the saying last episode, that we I don't think we'll break the record for the youngest uh, player appearance. Um, we've managed to do it again. So Bertrand Paisley's appearance at the age of 16 years on one day for so show away at Horte Luzene Heracourt in the Coupe de France is a new team record. So uh, he's beating the record that Andre, poor Andre Riviere, he made history and then within a couple of weeks he's, he's had it taken away from him. But yeah, he's a very good player in the making. He is, uh, oh, his value's gone down though. He's gone down from, uh, from 4.9 million to 2.9, but I don't know if that'll be, I do have him for, up for loan, so I don't know whether that's made any difference to it. Uh, listed him as up for loan. Anyway, right, so we are now playing uh, Angus, who are currently 10th. Um, so they are close to us. They are like, actually, yeah, they are only one point behind us. Uh, if we win this game, we'll get a little bit closer to 7. we just got to keep winning and hope for the best, really, at this point. We can get on a good little run now and uh, get up the league a bit. But... If we lose, we're back down to square one in, in the league. So, um, pretty much unchanged from the last league game by the looks of it. So, let's just crack on. I think what I might do is might promote Paisley to the first team if Boris, if I, if Boris ends up going. Because obviously we need to promote some central defenders into the first team if we're getting rid of Fontaine. And Boris in January because uh, obviously we're not going to replace him by going to the transfer market we always look to promote from within anyway Angus start the game oh that was a bit of skill there by Homer I can't fault that goal that was a good goal good bit of skill by Homer to get past our player 1-0 to Angus who are now leapt up, uh, are now ninth, and we're back down to 10th. Right, throwing to us. Let's see what we can do from this. Will this lead to a goal? Bizarre, bombs ahead. Beautiful cross. Shame it didn't go near any of our players. Oh! Right. All right, so 1-0 down. Corner. Homer with the corner. Ah, oh, 2-0 down. Jan Valerie, former Southampton right back. I think he played for Arsenal, didn't he? I know, I'm thinking of uh, uh, Cedric and I, Cedric Soros. Yeah, he played for Southampton. He come from the youth system. I didn't realise that. Um, he was one point very highly rated, Valerie. Um, still got plenty of time ahead of him. Could still have a good career in football. Right, hopefully this highlights for us. We have kicked off straight away. So I'm, I'm hoping... Oh, that was a great ball. Go on, Passard. <sighs> Unlucky by Kofi. That's better, though. We need to be more clinical with our finishing. Right, hopefully, we will 
get a goal quite quickly in the second half and then we might have a chance of getting a draw out of this. Kofi. Oh, that was unlucky. I think that was offside anyway. Close though. We're getting there. We're, we're, we're getting there slowly but surely in this game. Who do we just take off? Oh, okay. Galvez had to come off. Right, Fatar's not playing very well. So he can come off and we'll put on... Oh, great. We haven't got anybody to come off. Uh, so, uh, Dosu, have we got anybody that we can put him on for him? No. Great. So, Fontaine we can take off there. At least there's that. Put Boris on. Right, let's try firing up players and see how that works. Good. We've intercepted the ball there. Kofi. Is he going to go for goal here? Oh, that was a... Come on, Kofi. Uh, oh, we can't make any more subs now. So uh, that's that. Nothing we can do now other than just accept defeat. Free kick to us. Viltard. Are we going to get a consolation goal here? Mm, that was a rubbish free kick. What was the point in that? Hit the post twice now. Twice in this game. We would have been 2-2 two, two up. Uh, sorry, we would have been 2-2. Two, two. We've been very unlucky in this game. We've been the better team when you look at the stats as well. That's the frustrating thing about it. Oh my God, we've hit the post again. We've hit the post three times this game. Absolutely ridiculous. We we should have won this game. This oh, I'm angry now. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. How unlucky is that? Right, see you in a sec. Right, so we've had a few injuries, Kofi um, being the main one. Um, so we've had to, basically, I just called up everybody from the under-21s and 19s because for some reason we had Tete, who's a defensive midfielder, up front. Um, so we were lacking the firepower up front. So uh, Nabo is having another start in a, in a league game this time. Um, we've got usual goalkeeper and defence and midfield. Carzenti is on the right because we've also got... Um, I can't remember who else is injured, but our usual, I think it's Dosu who's injured. He's injured. Pizzard is not 100%, so we won't be able to play the whole game as well. So, yeah, so we'll just have to see. And then on the subs bench, um, yeah, we've got mostly defenders. I don't think there's any attacking players in this. Is he an attacking player? He's a midfielder, I suppose. Central midfielder, another central midfielder. Uh, in fact, I'm going to take off Pierre and I'm going to put on. I'll try and find uh, an attacking... Is Izanga? Where's Izanga? He's not even here. He must be injured as well. So, yeah, we've got a lot of players injured. Is he here? Going very slowly. I can't see him. No. Okay, we'll just keep it as it is. Right. If it comes down to it, we'll just have to take a striker off and put a, defend a defender in there and just put the defender in defence. Depending on how we're doing one way or another. If we're winning, at least that way we can... Uh, we can control our lead and hopefully um, guarantee a win. But yeah, we're currently 10th. So we win this game. We might go back up to 8th. We'll see. Oh, we're 11th now. Uh, nothing so far. We've had two shots, two on goal, but a 0 .0 0 0.06 XG. So that tells me that they weren't worth worrying about them shots. Good. Defend in there. Let's see if we can do break here. Carzenti gets tackled though. Lose possession of the ball. Ajacio, who were uh, who beat us last game last time they played us, I think. They were top of the league when they played us. Um yeah, a bit of a boring game for the neutrals. Right, Navo's already knackered. We haven't got anybody to put on for him. So I'll just wait for the first half to finish, I think, before I figure out what I'm doing there. Might have to change my formation. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, okay. He's he's forced. He's been forced off the pitch. I have to play him there. Viltard with the free kick. 
Ooh. Right, let's uh, figure things out. Tete is not a striker. We can't play as a striker. So he's... We're going to have to play one striker now for the rest of this game. We'll put him here. Uh, swap him with Viltard, I think. And then him here. So that is our new formation <laughs> for the rest of this game. Forced on us. Because uh the injuries that we have at the moment. We've been a bit unlucky with injuries this in the last couple of games. We're not making excuses though. But uh yeah, nil nil still. At least we're not losing. I say that and then I'll probably jinx us now. Uh Fatar to Carzenti. Get in, yes. Carzenti with his first goal of the season. Right, Viltar's injured now. So, oh great, we haven't got a defensive midfielder. Right, bear with us. Um, Viltard, we'll put you, we'll put Tete over there. Put Viltard in here and then swap in for Boris. In fact, I'll just do this now. Do that, do that. Protect the lead. Oh, for God's sake, Galvez is injured now. Oh, we can't take any more players off. Yep, we just got to make do now. Uh, still 1 0 though to us. We have been the better team as well by the looks of it. Nine shots, three on target. 0.76 XG. They've had more possession there. There we go. Nice little win. Uh, Pizzard's out for four, seven days. Thierry makes his professional debut. Bloody hell, he looks like a right good player. He does. Uh, who's he after? He's after... No, you can bugger off. You're not having it. You're not having him. Let me sign him a new contract. Hopefully that will keep the clubs away from him. Right, so I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we are now playing um, a JCO in the Coupe de France. So you know what that means. Picking new prospects. Um, we got Ruralt in goal again. Patricio is right back. Mustafi and Samasa centre defence. Silver is left back. Um, Tybald and Thierry in midfield. Carzenti and Fabier on the wings. And then Nabo and Izanga up front. So quite a good team considering. Um, so let's see how it goes. Also, Fontaine and Boris have gone. Um, I think Bor Boris is definitely gone. Um, Fontaine is, I think he's he's gone as well. He was meant to go 1st of January, so should be okay. It's all right. Baxter's trying to get back up here. Sorry. Anyway. Um... Hello, Baxter. Yes, hello. Oh. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, central defenders are gone. And now we've got to replace them um, with players from the youth team. So Mustafi would probably be one of them because he's 20, is he 18 or 19? I think he might be 20 now. Oh, 18. So he's old enough that he's probably ready for first team football. Uh, I think he's good enough as well. So hopefully he'll probably be the replacement. Um, and that silver's going as well. He we've had a, his contract's expiring in the summer. We've decided that he's not good enough, so we'd rather just get rid of him now. I'm struggling to concentrate on this game because of the dog. <sighs> right, so we're one nil down. Uh, Kofi won player of the year. I can't remember what player of the year it was, um, but he won player of the year. Um, I'm trying, I've signed a new contract with So Show. Um, I requested a new contract. They granted my request. Managed to... Oh, 2 nil down. Managed to get the board to uh, agree to upgrading the training facilities. So the work started on that. So that's a good sign for the future. Hopefully it will help our young players get better. 
Right, Patricio now. Beautiful cross. Kofi was playing. He probably would have buried, uh, buried that. Silver now. Is he going to... Oh, I thought that was going in there. Right, corner. Can we get something out of this now? Can we get back in this game? Um, I can't think of anything else that's happened in between the game. We didn't have a game for about 15, 16 days, so quite a bit's happened. But yeah, it's first, uh, I think it's like the 2nd of January in the game now, so we probably will be getting off the suppliers that we don't particularly want to sell as well, so we're preparing ourselves for that. Nabo with the pass back to Patricio. Patricio with the shot massively over. Uh, I'm just going to get these lots of focus. None of them are playing well. But it's not, it's only the defense. Oh no, it's a few of the, few of the other players actually. I should have just done focus on everybody. But I felt like that was a bit unfair if I did that to everybody when uh, Nabo's been playing well and Carcenti's been playing well and uh, Fibold has been playing well as well. Thierry to Fibold. Patricio now. Beautiful first time cross. Get in. Nabo with his ninth goal of the season, but I think the first senior goal for us. I know he has scored before. He scored in the uh, last French Cup game. See, Nabo could be another player I could call up to the first team. I think Izanga's better though. Just Izanga's not playing particularly well in this game. Right, have we got a slight chance of getting back in this game now? Probably not. Right, they've got a corner. Let's see if we can counter-attack from this. Once we get possession, hopefully, if we do. This might be the uh, nail in the coffin. It is the nail in the coffin. Flamarion. Oh, is it disallowed? It's disallowed. Oh. There's no VAR in the French Cup, so that's good. I'm hoping for a defensive mistake here. Didn't happen. Right. Uh, Ajaccio in possession. I think it's Ajaccio. Maybe I've got that wrong. Is it? Yeah, Ajaccio. Yeah. Oh well, that's it. That's done. That's us out of the uh, cup for one for another season. Right. Let's see well. Let's see who we can give a debut to. So let's give Bossy a debut. Let's give um, Jabril Talio Talio Unal. Let's give Gurgan a debut. Who else can we give a debut to? We take you off. Let's give Kikutu some game time. Let's leave it as that for now. Uh, Terry's knackered, so we'll put on Goofia George to make his debut for us. Don't think he's played for us before. I feel like the score is very unfair on us. I think we, we should have got at least another goal in this game. Go on, Azanga. Ah, uh, should have done better than that. Oh, well. Not the best way to end the episode on, but, you know, it is what it is. At least our young players got a bit of first team football and they will continue to because obviously we're, we're getting rid of a few players so some of the young players will step up. He looks like a right good player in the making, he does. Right, let's have a look. Oh, we've got two games left. Ignore me for some reason. Um, in my head, I thought we'd already finished the episode. So yeah, so back in a second with the next part of the episode. So we're back. Um, Silver's out the door. We've got rid of him. In fact, let me just go through transfers before we start the next game. Uh, transfer history. 
players out. So yeah, so um, Dosu's gone as well. Forgot I forgot we sold him. Um, yeah, so Dehu's gone on loan. That was oh sorry, that was in September. Uh, Boris has gone. Dosu Dosu's gone. So end of an era here. Uh, Fontaine is has gone as well, and Silver's gone. Um, so yeah, so we also sold this player here because he wasn't good enough. So um, yeah, so we're uh, that's that, and then we've got Grillot and Mustafik playing in centre defence today. Um, let me have a look and see who we've got central defenders wise. So we go here. We've got quite a few in the first team, so that's not too bad. We've, we're more than covered. Uh, Diagne's probably not back from fitness yet. But we've got a few on the subs bench as well, so we're more than covered um, for central defenders. Let me just see how we're doing. We're doing all right for yeah, we're doing all right for left backs. Oh, doing all right for right backs as well. So yeah, we'll be all right. And obviously, we've got players from the youth team and the reserves we can call up as well. So, um, yeah, so here's the lineup. We've got Popov in goal, as I said earlier, Mustafi and Grillo in the centre defence. We've got Langlis, Langlis, sorry, um, I think he's making his debut today because we've got a few. Oh, because Silver, we sold Silver, and I think we've got an injury to our main left back, and I can't remember who our main left back is now. But yeah, so he's playing as left back, and Tete and Mendes to Silver in midfield, Carzenti and Bazard on the wings, and then we've got. Fatar and Nabo again, because obviously uh, Kofi is out for a few weeks. Oh, he's on the subs bench, so he could probably come on at some point. But yeah, we're playing uh, Ruin now. So uh, hopefully this is a game that we win. We're currently eighth at the moment. Nine points away from the playoffs, though, so I think we can kiss goodbye to the playoffs this year. Unless we go on an incredible run, which doesn't happen in this league with us at the moment. We're, we're too far away for that type of talk. Oh, one nil down. Six minutes gone. Not the best of starts, is it? Back down, back down to ninth now. Strasbourg, Bordeaux and Lyon, as I predicted, top three teams at the moment in the league. So I assume, by the looks of it, um, only the top team gets promoted, and then you've got four teams in a playoff for the for the promotion. I don't know. We'll soon figure it out. I think only two teams go up into League One every year. Um, I remember the Premiership having like every every season it was different, didn't it? One season it was four teams that go down, four teams that go up. And then there was one year where there was like I think there were two teams that got two teams. I don't know what it was, but yeah, I think three as it's been three consist three teams going up and three teams going down now consistently for quite a while. But yeah, oh god, two 0 down. Well, we're not going to win this game, even though I said that I thought we would. We're missing Kofi. I think he might have to come on in a later in in a bit. Hopefully we can get a goal just before half time, give us a chance to get back in the game. Doesn't help that we've got two central defenders making their debut as a partnership today, so and a left back who's not even played for us yet. Good ball, Compassad. Oh Fatar. First time shot gets saved by the goalie. Right, Fatar with the corner. Good cross. Shame went straight to the goalkeeper's hands though. Right, I think I think in a bit I'm I'm gonna take off the tar and put on Kofi. Right, Bazard's injured, so um I put on Kamara. Take the tar off, put Kofi on. Kofi was out for two or three weeks with a flu, so he must have had COVID. Because I've never had a flu, not even co I didn't even have COVID for two or three weeks. I know people have had it for that long though. I had long COVID and I had the COVID, oh, nearly. I had long COVID. I had the, um, 
all the symptoms for it. I never got it checked, but I know I had it because I was out of commission for about, I had the cold, the flu itself for about a week. And then the after effects for about two or three weeks afterwards where you, you can barely, barely walk anywhere without getting out of breath. It was terrible. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Uh, I'm just glad that it's uh, we've managed to find we, man, we in the end we managed to find a vaccine for it. So it killed a lot of people. That's a very cheery thing to be talking about, isn't it? Sorry, everyone, for bumming you all out. Right. Um... We're lacking attacking players at the moment on our subs bench. They seem to be all defensive players. Why can't we beat the teams we should be able to beat? We beat these last season. We came up as champions. I think they got up through the playoffs and yet they've beaten us both games this season, which is really frustrating. Defending Moyes. Come on, let's get a consolation goal. These poor away fans, they've suffered enough. Give them something to be happy about. I'm not even going to pronounce his name. Jesus Christ. For that for a name. No, no consolation goal. We're just going to lose. We're just going to do what we do best. Lose. I'm a bit of a morbid, negative person, if you haven't gathered. Hopefully that's your jam. If that's your jam, let me know in the comment section, okay? <laughs> right, we're not doing well this episode. We've only won one game. We lost to Angers. Uh, oh, no, we beat them in the cup, but we were, we were expected to beat them in the cup. Right, Bastia, this is where we turn things around next game. We haven't got a game now for 12 days, so as you know, as always, I'll be back. Right, we're back with the last game of the episode. Um, we are playing... Bastia, um, we've got Popov in goal, um, Diagne's back, we're playing Nadilu, let's have a look at him, is he any good? Uh, he's pretty decent, got two star current ability which is good and then potential for three and a half to four half star potential, only 17 years old, um, is available for loan so we might not have it for much longer, because a lot of these players moan when you don't loan them out, even though you're playing them in the first team at times. So they'll moan, they'll be like, even though Mustafi, for instance, has a promise to be loaned out, uh, and I know if I don't loan him out, he'll be unhappy, yet I want to play him as one of my main centre-backs. I hate, I hate this about football. I hate things like that about football manager. It's just stupid. But uh, yeah, um, Carzenti is still in the team as well, which is good. So he's getting a regular run out now. Um, I think it's because Weisbeck's injured. But yeah, we've got a few players that aren't probably going to play the whole game, but we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, at least Kofi is back in the starting lineup as well. So that gives me confidence that we will win this. We are playing at home as well. So we are just got to try and be positive for the first 10 minutes, and then as soon as Bastia score, I can go back to being negative again. Um, right, we've got a corner. Viltard with the corner. Passard has the possession of the ball. He'll cross it in. Oh, nearly. Right, free kick to uh free kick to Bastia. Oof. And he got found out there. Right, Popov passes it out to Nidilu. Uh Bastion. Bizarre now to Fatar. Oh, intercepted by Bastion, who drives it forward. Would he cross it in? No, passes it to Bazaar. Get in there. Viltard. Bazaar to Viltard. Ah, uh, Bastia to equalise now from the free kick by the looks of it. Oh, no. Stand corrected.
en Europe. Um, not much else has happened since that goal. But not complaining. I'll grind out a 1-0 uh, win and I'll be happy with that. A bit of passing going on there. Pizard loses it though, unfortunately. You get it back with Galvez. Passes it uh, to Diagne. A bit of 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two going on here. Diagne trying to keep possession by the looks of it. I don't mind this approach. If we keep the ball, then Bastia can't score. So... There you go, and Poet didn't even know it. Oh, just over by Kofi. Still a bit rusty, I think. Uh, Nadilu not playing well, unfortunately. Let's try encouraging him. Hopefully a bit of gentle encouragement will uh, help him. Hazard, that was to nobody. Let's see what we can do now. Can we get the ball off them? Not yet. Ah, oh, one one. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Right, so it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, might have to take Nadilu off, I think. For his own sake. Maybe too early for him. Good cross. Ooh, Carzenti with a header. Unlucky there. Right, Diagne's not playing particularly well either. Uh, let's take him off. Uh, let's put him on. All right, Navo's on for Kofi. Hopefully Navo can get a late winner for us. By the looks of it, it's not happening. Uh, I really felt like we were going to win that. Oh, hold on. Let me click on that. Vieira is... Oh, Roland Vieira. It was Patrick Vieira. Maybe we need to send him out on loan. Oh, we've offered him out, so he'll probably go out on loan. But anyway, right, that's the end of that. Um, been a very enjoyable episode um we've not won many of these games let's have a quick look yeah we literally won two out of this two out of the five games one out of the five games sorry um so yeah not the best of episodes but the only way is up we've got to stay positive we are currently eighth in the league um, I don't know how we're eighth in the league because I feel like we lose every game, yet the teams below us are just worse than us, luckily. But we managed to draw the last game, so at least there was that. We are nine points away from the playoffs. We're not going to make it this year. But hopefully if, Bort if Strasbourg, Bordeaux... Oh, no, so, yeah, so first and second go up automatically. And then there's some reason there's three... Oh, I think Bordeaux play in a... I don't know, let me have a look. I think it's like a relegation playoff where the team that's going to get relegated plays the second place in the league below. Uh, state, no, rules, rules. Yeah, promoted to League One. I got that wrong then. So three teams in the playoffs? We'll figure it out. Oh, there you go. Promotion, promotion. Promotion, semi-final, quarter-final, playoff, League One playoff. Okay. I think, I think we'll just leave it. I'll figure it out. I'll have a look offline after this. But um, yeah, Kofi tops goal scorer in the league at the moment as well, which is good. Um, thirteen goals. Sorry, I'm showing this as if you, as if you can see it. Um, but yeah, his value's gone up to up to from three point three million to four point seven million. So he'll be probably out the door by by the end of January or probably summertime because some club will go in for him and will the chairman will accept the bid. But yeah, anyway, um, thank you. Keep on following me. Keep watching me. I will get better as the as time goes on. We all improve as content creators. The more we do it, the more practice we get, the better we get. So just bear with us. I'm determined to make a success of this. Uh, I'm determined to bring entertaining content to you. 
So yeah, just uh, I appreciate your support. Keep on supporting me. I'll do my best to entertain you. Um, yeah, and as always, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be back next week. All the best. Bye.